doing sleeping on the couch? I walked you from the bar last What the f are you doing waking me up like that? Not just you. Stop it! What's going on? The zombie I'm rising? Okay, I can do this! I've got it all control! Ah. Just re what? No zombies. You know what? <sighs> Both of you are gonna get killed by me, okay? Just, I hate you, skin! Get the f out of my way! What's your problem? It's Tommy, who knows? Tommy, she's always mad about something. Well, then what was that noise I heard when I got here? Never mind that. Why weren't you asleep? Uh, well, if you must know, Mom, I had to take Wolf to his car to pick it up. Don't you take that tone with him, young man. Yeah, yeah, I really don't want to deal with you guys today. What'll wait? Let's not fight. Today is a very special day. Oh, what is it? The anniversary of the first time you kissed? A girl? No, that's in November. So, what is so special about today other than it is one day closer to the next Star Trek movie? Is this a new Star Trek? Maybe, maybe not, but it still is one day closer nonetheless. Touché, or as the French say, touchy. But that's not it. Today, at noon, your friend and roommate will be the first in line to get an autograph from the one, the only, Kenneth Spencer. Oh, you did it! Just when I thought I couldn't care less, then you pulled that out. Who's Kenneth Spencer? The artist responsible for this. Uh... <coughs> <coughs> uh... Avian's Tear? Issue number one of Ninth Age? Illustrations and story by <sighs> Kenneth Spencer in near mint condition. It's like the crown jewel of your collection. Can I talk? Avert your eyes, Bob. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, uh, you're going to take this to that guy and he's going to sign it? So what? Are you stupid? Stop. Uh, I already know the answer. Bob, do the honors. As there would be no proof of authenticity, a signature would only serve to decrease the value of the comic. And... Even proof of authenticity is often not enough in this world of thievery and... Um, foolery? Sure. And I used to beat guys like you up in high school. Bring it. I'm not worthy! Shut I'm up! Not worthy! Here, Bob. Both of you! I'll concede this time well, but only because I must get in line. After all, the early bird gets the first autograph. Uh, yeah, I checked the book. That's not the saying. No, that's it. Mm, I'm pretty sure Waddle's right. Hurt your eyes! I'm not worthy! God. Early bird gets the autograph. Listen, there's nothing I can do. Nothing you can do or nothing you're willing to do. You have to have proof. Did President Bush need proof? Listen, do you know who I... Don't I know you from somewhere? Well, I do have three identical twin brothers. Perhaps... And don't I know you from somewhere? Yeah, I ambushed you a few weeks ago. Well, you've got to do something. I saw him take cuts. Who? That one. Idiot freak job. I gotta go. Kenneth's been up all night delivering kittens, and he needs some sort of, you know, pick me up. The kind only Commando Bear can give. All right, fine. Go. But I will. So we're even, right? And that's why Superman could never have a baby. I don't know. Hey, what do you think? About what? You've been arguing for the past half hour. About whatever. Well, 
Iron Man is an elected dictator among heroes, which would be fine if he didn't have his monthly title claiming him to be an actual hero. If Superman is, then so is Wolverine, because they both wear their underwear on the outside, only with Superman as part of his cultural identity. Oh, and that mall rats argument is flawed, because if Superman really wanted a baby, he could have artificial insemination formed on Lois. And being that in the womb, the super baby could not absorb the rays from our yellow sun, there would be zero chance of the kid kicking through Lois's womb. Oh, and you're both right and wrong. Sin City and Batman Begins are tied for the greatest comic book movie of all time. Now please, when you have a real argument worth arguing, let me know. Hey, is that the first issue? Can I see it? Avert your eyes! What? No, you may not put your greasy fingers on it. But it's in a sleeve. I said no. Hey, you can check out mine. You're both getting the first issue signed? <laughs> I'm not. I'm only bringing it so we can see that I'm his biggest fan. This is what he'll sign. It's a letter stating that I'm his biggest fan. Well, I'm getting mine signed. What's the point of having a comic book if you can't enjoy it? Oh my god! Look! Everyone, look! It is death himself! Run, mortals, run! Or I shall suck your souls from through your nose and send you to the great beyond! <laughs> you heard him! Run! Run for your lives! I'll hold him off! No, don't worry about... Alright, Bob, see you at the love nest. All right. Hey, do you want me to pick up tomatoes still? Please. What about toilet paper? Yes. Okay. I have six crisp one dollar bills that you let me in. How many times do I have to tell you? Mr. Spencer specifically only allows two fans in at any one single time. Come on! How cool was that guy? He was easily the coolest and nicest guy I've ever met. I know. Can you believe when I didn't have anything to sign, he gave me a $20 bill? And he signed it. I'm totally getting this framed. I know. Okay. Finally. All right. All oh. right. All right. Oh. Oh, wait, wait. Should, should anyone deliver puppy? Quick, in here. Wait, you said only two at a time. Didn't you see what just happened here? Are you really that horrible of a human being? Oh. Yeah, well, at least I know the importance of spaying and neutering an animal. Every time I need sprinklers, every single time. All right, you guys, thanks so very much for coming out today. But unfortunately, Mr. Spencer has to cut the session short. He's got a plane to catch. The $5,000 winner of the Commando Bear Fan Appreciation Commercial is... Mr. Scientist, does Commando Bear really cure cancer? Well, Billy, we're not saying Commando Bear cures cancer. But I don't have cancer. That is an excellent point. Now recommend for children like me. This is some sort of bad dream. What about the puppies? That was a false labor. Now, Mr. Spencer will not be giving out any more autographs today, but guys, don't worry. You're not going home empty-handed. You're all going to get a free hot and ready pizza to go. What? What does pizza have to do with anything? Tired of you signing. I'm the ninth age. Mr. Spencer. Mr. Spencer. I'll take a little pay for this. Janet, where are you? We gotta get going. You got a plane to catch. Come on. Mr. Spencer. Mr. Kenneth Spencer. Something here for now. He's one of these at home. I'm getting out of here. Mr. Spencer, where are you? Where are you at? I thought you had a plane to catch. Come on now, let's go.
Ooh, a buffalo nickel. Ooh. Ooh. Lock the door. What is in the way? Why of this door open? Who locked the door? Come on. Oh my god. A buffalo nickel. Oh no. So that's how you solve America's healthcare crisis. You know, I never really thought of it that way before. All right, I'll get flyers made tomorrow. Maybe some business cards, yeah? We'll do it one hot dog at a time. Oh, man. Did you hear that? What? Did you hear what? I heard... Huh? Bob! Oh, man! Bob, over here! Wait! Bob! Bob! Skin! Are you all right? Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Bob. I'm so sorry, I never should have left. I'm sorry, I never should have left the cover of the door. It's all my fault, I'm sorry, please forgive me, please. Hey, Bob, Bob, fine. Shh. Okay. Wait, can I see the autograph? No. Um, I have I have a small Why not? Come on, just a little peek. Bob. Just a little, shh, a little peek. Bob, go back to groveling. I'm sorry, please forgive me, I won't ever do it. Oh, I repent, I repent. Please, I'm sorry. The last time it was like this, took an hour and a half. What will stop talking and listen? I have a small problem. What did you do? Come, Bob, get up. Is it safe? Yes. Okay, stand. Okay, um, it's in here. Wait a minute. Where'd that door come from? It's a secret room. It only appears out of absolute necessity. If you're going to let us in, I've never seen that door. It wouldn't be much of a secret if you knew about it. Whatever. Duh. Okay. Okay, now, let's go in. Okay. Uh, what? You may want to wear these. Oh, God. What did you do? <laughs> yeah. Sweet. God, I love this. Something good is happening. This is awesome. All right, now. Why does this smell like Buster? Everyone, be calm. It's supposed to be calm. Like this. Let's just get up. But. Work, work, work. All I do is work. Work my fingers to the bone. Sign, 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 signatures to sign, I'm signing off, go home. Buff, 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 buffalo nickel, shining so bright like chrome. Duct tape in ropes, bound and gagged, I've lost all hope. Lost Tied and trapped, fearful of groans. I've been kidnapped. Heart, now heart, I'm ready. I'm ready to breathe free. Where are you? Fine. Mark!